Hello, my Fumble family, and welcome back to the Caden Fumble Bottom YouTube channel. My name is Caden, and today I have with me Lord. a mythical creature, but not the type of mythical creature that I am going to be investigating today. No! Oh. You're not the type of myth that I'm investigating today! <clears throat> But, the type of myth that I am investigating today is a very, very interesting one. No, the type of myth that I'm investigating today is indeed a Roblox myth. And none other than somebody by the name of Rhodes. So, if you haven't heard of Rhodes before, they're actually a somewhat popular myth already in the Roblox myth community. But let me give you a little rundown as to who they are and what they're all about. So here on the Robloxian Myth Hunters Wikipedia, which yes, happens to be the group that I did in fact make. <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't make the Wikipedia at all. Anyways, on the Wikipedia, it states here that Rhodes is a fairly popular myth known for their games and involvement in other myth hunting groups. So they are already well known as I stated before. Their personality traits are as follows. Rhodes is an emotionless, rarely faking a smile for people around him. He always refers to visitors as humans and can get angry if they correct him. I should probably try not to correct him then. He is very keen on showing humans his realms. Ooh, I love that kind of thing. That, that means he's probably gonna have a buttload of games just saying but and is very repetitive on what he shows as if he does not feel it has happened before because of his short memory that's really interesting a myth that has short memory rose does not feel anything all of his senses are faint he is blind and sees by a thing that he calls blind sight which is described as seeing only souls which allow him to know where he is and the suspected danger of the place. Rhodes associates himself with a certain sign he calls the sign of forgotten souls, which is a spider-like symbol presented in most of his games. Wow. Oh my god. Rhodes has a lot of lore behind him. For, the, for people who think there aren't Roblox myths out there that are like super duper cool and developed, they're coming out every day. I mean, Rhodes has been around for a while now, but they're coming out all the time. People like Rhodes are out there. You just gotta search if you want to find the myths. Anyways, this is Rhodes. He appears to be a pretty spooky looking myth. He already has over 35,000 place visits. And as you can tell from his personality traits, he has quite a bit of lore behind him. I am going to be meeting up with him today and he is going to be giving me a tour of I don't even know what yet. Uh, I'm very excited. I'm very scared. The person that hooked this up actually was Flush Ryan who happens to know Rhodes themselves. So without further ado, I'm going to meet the myth. Hopefully I won't piddle in my pants, but you know what? I probably will. <laughs> I'll see you in there. Okay, here I have a link to join a private server that Rhodes is going to be giving me a tour in. The game is titled Rabbit Hole. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, I'm going into the rabbit hole. I am jumping down the rabbit hole right now, and I am quite terrified. Okay, I'm nervous. That is what I meant to say. I'm very nervous. I'm, I'm an anxious person off the bat. I'm a little bit scared because this myth is genuinely terrifying a little bit, but you know what? I'm ready to meet them. I'm so excited. And I am in a spooky looking cave with a lot of particles. Jeez Louise, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of detail that goes into this game, as you can tell already. So if, if my, my smart brain knows anything, it's to walk towards the mysterious glowing orb that is lighting up the cave. So let's walk up to that orb and see if it consumes our faces. Where am I? <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to come here yet, but uh, I just walked into this thing and there's a person here named Dollface. They said hello to me. Okay. Uh, hello, Dollface. I can't speak much. Dollface? Oh, poor Dollface. They can't speak much. I'm gonna tell Dollface. Uh, I think I took a wrong turn somewhere. How do I get out of here? Oh, 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 probably this rope. Uh, oh, he built me. My cell? It holds my soul. Oh! I, I see! They're not allowed to leave. No, this sounds like a prison. I'm sorry to hear that, Dollface. I'm sorry to hear that. It's not his fault, says Dollface. As word I can't say. Azmaki? So from the lore that I read on the Wikipedia, Azmaki, or whatever the name is of this demon, is some sort of demon that is uh, an influence in Rhodes' life. Oh my god, what is this? A little music box. You got some jams over here? Yeah, girl. Dolphin. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> As 
Mezumakai made Rhodes kill her. Uh, so it is not Rhodes' fault, technically speaking. Uh, it looks like somebody here named Jinx Dream is here. I have no idea if they're part of the myth. I have no idea. Okay, here we are. We are once again back in the- Oh my god, what is that? Ah, oh, go away! <laughs> we are once again back in the realm of the rabbit holes. Oh my god? That was you? Hello there! My mask seems to have been misplaced. Oh my god, when Rose talks, it appears above his head. Oh my god, that's so cool. I am Rhodes, and this is the rabbit hole, okay? This is rabbit hole, this is Rhodes. Fumble family, meet rabbit hole and Rhodes. It's a very cool place you've got here. As I let Rhodes know, it's where the most powerful souls have been trapped. Oh, I see. By a demon. Oh my god, okay, well that took a escalated turn. Is the demon here with us right now, or are we alone? Are you the demon? Oh, not anymore, they said. I was pretty scared that the demon was gonna come out and bite my eyeball head right off. I do look like a tasty little olive. There were only two gods. Oh, two, I see. One of them was named something with a lot of hashtags in it, and the other one was Ace Come Here, something that I still can't pronounce. Good and evil, yin and yang. And then Rhodes literally turns into a ball of energy and flies off. What is this? <laughs> okay, here we have a strange symbol which may or may not have been referenced in the Wikipedia. I can't remember. The sign of forgotten souls. The sign of forgotten souls. I said it into the chat. I'm hoping that they understand that I understand. Ah, a circle of candles. It's time to relax and read some books in a circle of candles. Book club. You went crazy. I see. Okay, so the two gods at one time kept balance. Then Azkami went bonkers and uh, balance went a little bit like this. And everything is bad now. He started becoming power hungry, taking souls. I think the room that we're in literally looks like a sacrifice room. I'm a little bit nervous that you're gonna sacrifice me, Rhodes. After Ansem fought him, he banished him to never set foot in the skies again until Azkami trapped four of the most powerful souls of all time. This is shaping up to be a really cool shonen anime. <laughs> I see. So now we get the four names of the four strongest spirits under this lore. Dollface, Desiree, Sentiel, and me. We are all emotionless, trapped in different ways. I did notice that Dollface was a wee bit emotionless. She, she didn't seem to mind that she was trapped all that much. But there was a way, dot, dot, dot. A way to get our souls back. Oh my god, am I gonna help you do that? How? I need to know! Please, tell me how on earth you get the souls back. And a sacrifice was needed! I called that! There is sacrificing going on in this game. Big oof! I'm scared! Destroy the chains that trap the forgotten souls. Connect me to the realm of eternal resting. Oh my god, he's saying a spell! Oh! <laughs> This is getting really cool! Okay, okay, magic is actually happening in the server in real time right now. Um, okay, um, what's happening, Rhodes? Okay, we're being teleported. Soul resting place. There's even water dripping down the camera. That's sick. Unless it's boogers, and that's even more sick. Anyways, here we have Dollface's grave! OMG! The first myth I ever met in the Rhodes saga, and they're dead! Which means I was literally talking to a ghost. Ah. I reincarnated her soul into a doll. Oh, I see. Oh my God, that's how she's still alive. She's trapped inside of a doll. And this is the graveyard of dead souls. Dear God. Oh. It was all for nothing. Azukami fooled us. I'm so sorry for pronouncing your god's name wrong this whole video. So the so they actually did the sacrifice. They killed Dollface for the sacrifice to make balance restored in the universe. But as Kami, the evil god who lost power, tricked them. It was all for nothing. They killed Dollface. They put her inside the body of a doll. Okay, here we are. Oh my god, at Azkami's Coliseum. This is the real deal. The god himself is standing before us, or rather a statue. He made us fight here for his amusement. Oh my god, you disgusting, disgusting just excuse of a god! <laughs> I say to you, Azkami. But one night, Desiree found a secret portal, and it led to a maze. Oh my god, under the water? Oh, am I swimming in blood, or is this Campbell's tomato soup? Now we are in the maze. Whoa. Oh 
my god, Rhodes, where have you taken me? Are you gonna sacrifice me to the god? Okay, the maze led to a shrew prophecy. I'm losing you, Rhodes. I'm really losing you. <laughs> there he is. He's like, hey, you keeping up with me? <laughs> Found sanity. Found sanity. Oh my god! The door just opened because I said found sanity. That is really cool. But here is a. Oh my god, what is that in there? What the heck is that? There's like a ghost. There's literally a ghost in there or, or something. It's one of Askami's minions. Oh my god, that, that, that thing right there. I literally almost just let it out. Okay, he says, I do not have emotion confirming what the Wikipedia has theorized. Rhodes is an emotionless myth. Here is a book. I clicked on it! Okay, it says the prophecy. Intruding the balance is percepted to cause chaos, so people know never to kill one or the other side. However, this is a false claim. It is hidden by both sides of the balance to keep chaos from intruding within yourself. The only other time this shall be revealed to the outer world is when chaos has ensued and the end is nigh. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> then... The realms will open, the souls will be set free, and peace will last eternally. Well, that sounds pretty nice. Unless, of course, one side decides to take utter control of the souls and destroy the balance of themselves. Then, at which point, you'll need to gather humans and sacrifice the souls of others to keep the balance tame. The old prophecy is already passed, and this is no longer needed. The more taken path is to defeat the evil side once and for all, to bring freedom to the trapped souls. The only known way to do this is extremely difficult, because both sides of the balance are extremely powerful. There must be a chosen one! To put it simply, one who has the first to be taken. The first trap soul taken by the impure side of balance. This person must take on the evil side and kill them so that the trap souls are no longer in their grasps. This will free the trap souls instead of putting them to rest, as the old prophecy foretold. Therefore, if this ever comes down to be the prophecy, this book will be sealed at the end of the maze hidden in Azkami's Colosseum, for which they will fight the impure side in said Colosseum. Miss Piggy! Okay, now we have been given a link to a place called the Barren Dunes. I have never been here before. I have no idea what we were in for, but I have a feeling there may be some dunes in here. Hello, muscly person. You must be Desiree. Hello, bystander, they say. Oh, cool. You you have more emotion, I see. Hello. Nice to meet you. Lost soul. One of the most powerful souls in the universe. This is the castle at which I used to serve. I see, so they were once a knight of some sort. It that explains the helmet with the horns. It is now destroyed by the Red One. The Red One! I have a feeling that may or may not be a god I've heard a few things about in the past. The clock is ticking, Desiree. Oh my god, and there's blood in the clock down here. What the heck, dude? Where are you taking me? Oh! There's blood down there. There's blood in caves down there. Don't go down there. Okay. Oh, I won't. Okay. I almost went down there. I literally was about to go down there. And he goes, don't go down there. Okay. Um, he literally just jumped down a giant Sparta hole. This is Sparta to myself. Here we go, baby. I'm, oh, okay. Oh, into the rabbit hole. I jumped into the rabbit hole. That actually makes complete sense. Oh, okay, okay. Desiree is gone. Here is uh, Rhodes again. Rhodes is in the server with me once more. There he is, hopping around the lost plains, souls, whatever it's called, rabbit hole. <laughs> I must show you my soul's realm. Oh, I see. Now we get to see Rhodes's realm. Okay, this I am ready for. Around me, there are some books, a candle, two open doors, and a cage outside of the shed. I'm not gonna ask about that cage just yet, but I'm very curious as to why you have a cage. This is my realm. Oh, I see. So far, it is the saddest realm. There is rain, there is a single shed, and there is a cage. It represents my soul right now. Drowning in rain? When freed, it won't be so dark. Oh! I see! Oh my god, so there's an ending to this myth. There is a way to free the lost souls and give them freedom once more. Rhodes. Oh, this is your gravestone! So, are you burying yourself at the moment? 
Mm, don't mind if I do. Let's hop in with them. It looks like all of these people have some sort of unique aspect to each of their realms. Each of them is different. Now it's time to see the gods' realms themselves. Wow, this is beautiful. I didn't expect this to be beautiful. This is Ansem's realm. Ah, yes, I see. So Ansem is the friendly one. That explains why this is a gorgeous, loving, free realm for the people. Okay, so around this world, you have a ball in a cage. That's probably a soul. Actually, these are probably souls floating around right now. This takes us to Azkami's realm, so the evil god's realm. Now it's time to see what heck looks like in Rhodes' world. Basically, we just went to heaven, now we're going to heck. Let's see how it is. Oh, dude, it's so creepy in here. <laughs> it's literally so demonic and creepy. It's almost as scary as my eyeball. Ah, the power, it's court. No, I'm, just, I'm fine. <laughs> time for us to go. Okay. Where are you taking me? Okay, we have just left the realm of Azkami. He said we need to leave before he shows up. So we got the heck out of there. Um, I have a feeling if we stayed any longer, we would have been a pile of blood pudding. So this is the Sentiel's residence. Oh, okay. Duh, Sentiel. That is the fourth soul, the one we have yet to meet. Oh my god, a scythe? Oh my- Whoa, oh, oh. Rhodes literally just murdered someone! Um, <laughs> hello? Ah, fire to roast my eyeball on. Yes, hmm, this is delicious. <laughs> Flush Ryan, my friend joins. My friend who hosts the Flush talk show host Flush Ryan is here and Rhodes says, scram. <laughs> okay, this is a really big realm that Sentiel has. So uh, Sentiel may be a very, very important part of this myth that I have not yet seen. Um, in all honesty, this is really cool. Like, moment to me, to myself, without Rhodes being next to me, he's over there, standing far away right now. This is incredible. Like, this is a really long walk, but that's part of the game. This is a vast map that is open and beautiful. And I love that for a myth. Welcome to Lancanshire. Now, this is where our long walk has taken us. I absolutely love this place. I would want to be here in real life. I want to explore this so bad. Let's go inside, please. Press G to climb up. Okay. Okay, here we are. Wow, we're, we're in an attic right now. Ooh, a note! As Kami isn't dead. Technically he is. Since you defeated him in the arena. Oh my god, Rhodes killed him in the arena? It's awesome! There's something keeping his soul present in the underworld, and I can feel it getting closer and closer with every moon. I can also sense something else with a similar evil presence, like Romana. Just a little bit more sane. A Baphomet! Oh my god, that's some sort of demon, I believe. Uh, I have to be quick. For I must leave for my old bar in England. I can sense that the maze keepers have noticed my soul and are roaming far too close to the house now. These woods were never safe. Anyways, please meet me there so we can discuss more. Sincerely. Sentiel. I see, so Rhodes and Sentiel appear to be two of the top- Oh my god, Rhodes is in the window! <laughs> okay, we are now entering the arena. I believe this may be our final location. Oh, Rhodes is here! Okay, okay, wow, okay, Rhodes just met up with me in the arena. I can sense something. Oh my god! Okay, Rhodes senses something. I feel like we're about to meet one of the gods. He is coming! Oh dear god, he literally said the god is coming! Oh no! What are we supposed to do? What do we do? I don't know what to do. Should I just run? I'm gonna run in this direction. Oh my god. He literally entered the server. I didn't think he was a real person. I thought he was just like a script. Ho 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 ho! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Something's walking towards us. I thought I told you to never come here again, Rhodes. Oh my god! I already defeated you. Oh, tea spilt. Get out, and never come back, says Rhodes with fierce, deep hatred behind his voice. What are you gonna do? Oh my god, this is awesome! <gasps> Dollface is here! Dollface, hello! Wait, says Dollface. Dollface is stopping in the battle. This is far too dangerous for you. As can be, says Dollface. Why do you hate us so much? I am wondering the same thing. <clears throat> Doll, says Rhodes. You need to understand something. And what is it? Oh my god! Are you gonna kill Doll? Don't kill Doll! Don't kill Doll! Some people in this world just want to watch the world burn. Oh, he just killed Askami and he's gone! He literally just... Askami's head right off. 
I'm just gonna say, I sure you made the right call, but uh, I'm not exactly sure that he made the right call. <laughs> In the end, when he's gone for good, this will all be over. I see. Okay, so Rhodes just told me he has to go now. This is the end of the tour. I have officially been shown everything there currently is to be shown in the Rhodes myth saga. So there are actually quite a few people behind this myth. There is Azkami, there is Ansem, there is Dollface, there is Desiree, there is Sentiel, there is Rhodes. There is a lot that goes into this. If you are a Roblox myth hunter and you want to see this myth, check it out. It is in the description below. I'm telling you, there is a lot to this. So be prepared. Get ready to write some stuff down. Get ready to screenshot some stuff because maybe it won't all stick in the back of your brain like it has not for me. But you know what? I'm going to watch this video back so I can understand things a little bit better. I absolutely love this myth. This is one of the coolest, most creative, most in-depth myths I have ever seen on Roblox. So comment your theories down below. Let me know what you think is going on. Let me know what you think of the demons, the gods, and all of the lost souls that you have met today and what you think may or may not be the solution to their problem or how this myth could end. If you want to see me do more content on the roads type myths, hopefully, hopefully that will be a thing uh, if it is updated, if there is more to this, etc, etc. So just comment down below if you'd like to see that. And until next time, sub if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. Ooh.